What is one thing you can't live without? So basically, I have like three things I can't live without, which are my oldies playlist. Um, it makes me happy, it can calm me down. Oh, I just love old music. I can't live without The Office because it puts me to bed at night and makes me laugh. And I've already watched it three times, going on four. And I can't live without dance because it allows me to express my emotions and I've done it for so long and it just makes me really happy. What is your favorite film? So, um, I have like a few favorite films too. It would probably have to be Father of the Bride, Dirty Dancing, Pretty Woman, and the second Austin Powers. I like it because they're older movies and I really like the plot line and the story behind older movies better than like newer movies that we have like these days. Like just the story is more interesting to me and I really like rom-coms too. So yeah. Where is your dream vacation spot? Um, I have a few dream vacation spots too. It would probably be Disney World because I love Disney so much and it's like always been a dream of mine to go see all of the Disney's. Um, maybe like Paris or something like that or something tropical like the Bahamas or like Bora Bora or another like island in Hawaii. Like, yeah. What's an unusual talent you have? So I have like two kind of unusual-ish talents. Um, I'll show them both and this is a kind of a trigger warning just in case you feel weird about like bones or like anything anything weird like that so i my first one is i'm double jointed on both my arms allow me to show one it looks like so weird it's like broken and here's the other one um i plan to use it someday like on april Fool's or something or one day if i really need to get out of something the day will come, I'm saving it up because like, see, imagine if I'm like, oh, I broke my arm. It looks funny. Um, if you were born in a different decade, what decade would it be? Mm, oh my gosh. I am so glad that you asked this question. Mm. Okay, if I could live in one decade, I would live in the 80s. All the way. I crave that feeling to feel what people felt in the 80s. Like my mom lived back then. Mm, I'm so jealous every day I want to live there. And like, let me just even show you my room just to show you. There's the Beatles. I have some Queen over there. All these albums. I have a record player, this guitar, cause I love the music and all those records. So I'm a little obsessed, but oh, I want to live in the 80s so bad. It's a dream. To elaborate on my previous statement, um, I love so much about that time. I feel like everything was just so much simpler. Like, I think it was so cool and like how people were just like talking their like tongue phones and the music was so cool and everyone was just like living their best life and you would have to like actually go on a date to meet someone. You couldn't hide behind your phone. The movies were so good, the music was so good. Just this fashion, I love everything about it. It's even giving me like goosebumps to talk about it. And I just love it. And I wish that I could have lived back then like as a teenager opposed to now. I, I might be like an old soul or something, but that's all right with me. I love it. What would your theme song be? My theme song would probably have to be Under Pressure by Queen because I feel like I'm constantly putting myself under pressure. And we all, we're all under pressure all the time. And honestly, like that folds into me more because for me, I feel like I always have to be pushing myself and pushing myself. And if I'm not under pressure, then I'm doing something wrong. So that's just something for me. And also I love that song, it's so good. <laughs> what is one thing everyone should know about you before they first meet you? Something that people should know about me before they meet me is that I am very ADHD. Like I actually have ADHD, <laughs> but I chose to embrace it. It's something that I love about myself. But with that comes the fact that I talk a lot. I am very impulsive and very dramatic, but I'm also a really fun person to be around. And I love getting to know people because I just love to talk. I can talk all day. You say something to me, I have a story about it. You want, you have need advice, I got you. Uh, that, that's just me. 
If you could choose a superpower, what would it be? If I could have one superpower, it would probably be to time travel, to go back in time because I would love to see the 80s and live that time. And honestly, I would love to go back and relive some moments because I lost my Nana not too long ago. And to be honest, I would give anything to go back into that time and honestly relive so much and do so many things over again and just be with her and not even just with her, but so many things that I've done and so many things that I regret and just some things that have made me so happy that I would go back and do again. So I would love to go back and time travel. I think that's the coolest thing.